What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and we have another situation today from the Rise of Skywalker novel written by Ray Carson where she is doing her best to try to explain something that happened in the Rise of Skywalker that left audience members puzzled because they just didn't explain it. This time it's about Kylo Ren's redemption. And this, just like so many other parts of this absolute disaster of a movie, there was no time for it. It's full of these unearned moments where you don't really understand why it's happening or how it's happening. It's supposed to mean something, but it just doesn't because it's all payoff with no setup whatsoever. So let's get into this article and find out how they tried to excuse away this part of the movie. Star Wars explains why Leia's death redeemed Kylo Ren. Well, they tried to, and even then it doesn't really do a good job. The novelization of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker finally explains just how Leia redeemed her son, calling Kylo Ren back to the light. Yeah, after this entire movie where there's no indication really whatsoever that Kylo Ren has any interest in being redeemed at all, uh, he, all of a sudden he's fine. He's good to go. Uh, he talks to his dad, Han Solo, and uh, he's just fine. Takes a TIE fighter to Exegol, fights the Emperor, dies. Whatever. Let's get into it. Star Wars has finally explained how Leia's death redeemed her son, Ben Solo, a.k.a. Kylo Ren, in The Rise of Skywalker. Redemption has been one of Star Wars' central themes since 1983's Return of the Jedi, when Darth Vader betrayed Palpatine on the second Death Star, turning back to the light and Anakin Skywalker. Of course, we know that that ultimately means nothing because Emperor Palpatine was fine, so F that movie. Right, Disney? Given, that the given that's the case, most viewers assumed Kylo Ren was going to be redeemed. They weren't disappointed. Well... They were disappointed for many other reasons, let's be quite honest. Kylo Ren and Rey were locked in a furious, murderous combat at the moment Leia passed away, and something about her death shook Kylo Ren to the core. Unfortunately, though, Star Wars Rides of Skywalker wasn't entirely clear just why Leia's death had such a profound impact. Was it grief? A sudden realization he would never be reconciled? Or was it something more? Now, I do think, listen, the fact you, when you feel in the force, when you feel someone that close to you, that much of a part of you pass away, I, I, you can definitely see how you would be stunned for a second. And then Ray just stabbed him in his moment of grief or whatever that was. The real question to me is how he was redeemed, right? Because just because that happens, I don't know why that would matter. We've seen that he was perfectly fine killing his father. Yeah, did he have some regrets a little bit after that? I, I suppose, but he killed Han Solo. Um, it took a little to do it, but he did it. Um, he was sitting there, he was not gonna fire on his mother before, but then she got fired on and uh, it looked like she was dead, but he kept on doing what he was doing. He didn't all of a sudden turn away in that moment, but this had a big impact evidently. Ray Carson's novelization of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker finally explains what really happened. It seems Leia had known she was growing weaker for some time. What does that mean? Growing weaker. All of a sudden, she's just getting too old. She partied too hard. Too many death sticks back in the day for Leia. Maybe. And Luke Skywalker's force ghost had been quietly cautioning her she had only one last task. Finally, the moment came and Leia lay back on her bed, resolving to use the last of her strength to reach her son. And here is the quote from the book. She flashed back to holding her tiny son in her arms, his black hair still wet from birth the way he'd cried all the time in those early months, but settled whenever he sensed that Han, she, Han, or Chewie was near. His first steps, his first word, the first time he'd sent a toy flying across the room with the power of the Force, calling on his tiny toddler rage. I never gave up hope for him, she said. Tell him, said Luke. With his words came a rush of knowledge and a vision memory of Luke sitting cross-legged atop a cliff on Octo, shaking with the effort as he projected himself onto the battlefield. The effort to reach Ben would take everything she had. And that is the explanation. That's what she's, they're saying she's doing. Tell him that she never lost hope and that you love her, that you love him. That's all it took to redeem Kylo Ren, evidently. Wow, I wish someone would have just told him that he loved him a while ago. Would that have done everything that was necessary? Would that have turned him from this path? He's under the control of Snoke, who is actually under the control of Palpatine. That's it, really? That's your redemption arc right there? I guess that's enough for Disney Star Wars. Kylo Ren always felt rejected by his mother. Indeed, he'd come to believe Leia never really loved him. Hadn't she taken every opportunity to send him away? According to Claudia Gray's novel Bloodline, which is a decent book, uh, it's one of the better Disney Star Wars books to be quite honest, when Ben was a child, he roamed across the galaxy with his father Han and Uncle Chewie, seldom seen his mother who was devoted to her political career. No sooner coming to an end than Leia began working on a new project, The Resistance. 
Ben had been again sent Ben had been sent to train with his uncle Luke, which he perceived as another act of rejection. Yes, we all know Ben Solo, this stereotypical character that they're trying to make. Uh, someone who didn't feel loved by his parents, someone who is frustrated. Uh, yes, we, we know what they're trying the message they're trying to send with Ben Solo. Words would not be enough to reach Kylo Ren, but Kylo Ren was strong enough in the force to realize she was dying, and she was expending the last of her strength on reaching him. Suddenly, he knew everything he had believed about his parents, about their lack of love for him, was a lie. After all, Leia had ch actually chosen to spend her precious life, her precious life energy, which she was dying anyway, so I guess I don't know how much that quite matters, on telling her son she loved him, when she could instead have channeled it into leading the resistance for just a little while longer. And they were all about to die in the next couple hours. So do you really think that that was that big of a sacrifice for her? I, I don't know. I guess Ben Solo did. That selfless act of devotion, a mother's declaration of love, shattering the power of the dark side, and redeemed Kylo Ren in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. That's all it took. Doing all of these absolutely horrendous things as Kylo Ren, killing his father, um, murdering a bunch of people, no big deal. Uh, his part in literally destroying planets with what they did with Starkiller Base. Now, that's no big deal. All that needed to happen was for his mommy to say, I love you, and he's good to go. Uh, I guess that's it. But uh, I don't know if that really works, if that explains why Leia's death redeemed Kylo Ren, if that works for you guys. It's not quite enough for me. I will say, listen, they were put in a box with Leia in this movie. What they should have done is killed her in The Last Jedi and left her dead. Uh, but instead, Ryan Johnson decided to pull a fast one, have her fly back Mary Poppins style to the ship, and then you're left with what to do with her in Episode Nine. Personally, I think that uh, Leia should have an off-screen death, and that's kind of how you open Episode Nine: is maybe a funeral or a memorial service or something like that. Um, because what Carrie Fisher... With the fact they weren't able to use her, they just had to use these scrap scenes. She seemed out of place the entire movie. It was kind of laughable if it wasn't so sad. The dialogue between her, whenever she was in a scene, it looked bad and it felt bad. Because you could tell they're just taking little things out of context for her to say that really mean nothing to the overall conversation and trying to create dialogue around that. And it just wasn't good. So they were kind of in a box with her. They should have killed her off screen, but they didn't. Uh, and we're left to deal with this. We're left to deal with the outcome of that and the fact that that's what redeemed Kylo Ren. Out of literally nowhere, no foreshadowing, all of a sudden Kylo Ren's just good again and he goes to help Rey to kill the Emperor for no reason. But maybe that's just how I'm seeing it. I'm interested to hear how you see this. If you buy this explanation that um, all she had to do was show Kylo that, no, I really do love you, son. I didn't do this for the past 30 years of your life. But uh, yeah, I love you now. That's all it took. Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.